Welcome to the homestead. Our shed to coop conversion is finally complete and it's time to move our chickens into their new accommodations. But before I do that, I'm going to take you on a tour of the completed coop. Keep in mind though that the solar room section of our build is still under construction. And I'll be doing a whole new series of videos on the installation of that system. And a little secret, it's a new exciting brand that I'm going to show you and I'm really stoked about it. So don't miss those coming up in the next month or so. And additionally, I'm gonna show you how to clip chicken wings today because we have a few flighty breeds that might get over that new electric fence. And I'm gonna have the girls help me so they learn how to do it. Let's get going. Okay, I've got a Gallagher S40 solar charger here on a 165 foot long fence. Now this is a little bit bigger than I wanted to make it, but that's all right. And I've enclosed the power pole and the tree because I don't want anything crawling up from the outside, getting on the pole and jumping over. So the fence encloses those two areas. Got a lot of hand digging trenches, but I'm glad I knew where the water line was. So I've tapped into that and we've run our water to the side and inside of our coop. Got a ramp made for them on the outside with an automatic door. Hopefully this door works. This is a new brand. It was only 80 bucks and it hasn't performed the greatest so far. You can see I got a little paint on it too. This is where the solar equipment is going to go over here. And then I've run some conduit already out the side and have started to trench for that up to the barn. Let's check out what we got inside. We have got our hen gear nest box and I've got to show you something that I'm going to be putting on onto this. We've got some ventilation here, but we've also got ventilation that we put down in the door. I hope that's enough. It's a little warm in here right now, but it is 85 degrees outside. We've got our, one of our feeders installed and we are going to be putting stacking all of our feeders next to each other over here. So we have our roosting bars installed. We just used treated two by fours. And what I did was I made an angled shelf down here that I can lift up like that and scrape out and take out uh, all of the droppings from the chickens. And hopefully it's at enough of an angle where they will not lay their eggs on it because some of them have had a challenge going in this. I've got some that love it and a couple that won't go in there and they lay their eggs like right under their roosting bars. Chickens are weird. So over here, I've got the water connection and we just need to grab it from that coop when we move all the chickens into here and then set it up right there. Should be no problem. And then I do have room over here for another hen gear box. And that would come from this coop over here. We are gonna be taking this whole structure and actually moving it inside this space. And I wanna move it inside this space so they do have some shade out here without needing to get relief from the sun by going back inside of the coop. Gotta to remember to close this door before I put them in here or they're gonna be goofing around in there trying to find space to roost or whatever. For our bedding, I just used compressed straw and I think I'm going to go the route that my friend Pete B did and get some linoleum and lay it down. I'm not that worried about like them tearing it up or anything, I'm just gonna grab piece of remnant scrap from wherever, Home Depot, it doesn't matter, and put it around. And that'll protect, even though this is treated plywood on the bottom, that'll protect it even better. But today is not the day for that. Let's get these chickens in here. This is one of our barred rocks and her wings have been clipped for a while. We keep them clipped because they are in this outdoor coop over here. And they do get out into that small area that's enclosed by the other electric fence. So we're gonna bring them over here first and just let them have their run. Here you go, you're free. You're free. Okay, 13 more chickens to catch. Chickaletta. Chickaletta. And maybe not. Got an egg. Pick her. We've got the barred rocks in the new coop, but we can't put the Rhode Islands with them right away because they tear each other up. That's why they were separated in the first place. And it's because I didn't have a rooster with that flock, but obviously I've got a rooster with this new flock. So what we're gonna do first is transfer the rooster into where the barred rocks are, move the Rhode Islands, and then move everybody else. That's my strategy. It's logical to me that that will work, but I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comment section below if that's crazy. Best way to get them cornered for capture? Treats. You got him. 
and then Uncle Bernie sees. <laughs> He's freaking. Okay. Do you remember what we do for for flight feathers? Gently get her wing. Where are we gonna cut? Right there. And what here. are those? What are those called? Primary feathers. Primary flight feathers. Mm-hmm. Okay. They help me fly. We're gonna do primary flight feathers and just cut about two inches off. No problem. We can do some secondaries also. Back here a little bit. Tips. Just the tips of those, okay? Now we're gonna gently put her wing back in. Careful her wing. Well, she's gonna flip her around. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold her tight so she doesn't flop around. We're gonna gently just get this one out. She's kind of shaking. Now usually you don't need to cut both wings, but I do just for added extra safety so they don't fly over that fence. Um. All right, there oh, we go. Okay, we got the last one, the last Rhode Island, and everybody is in there. I guess everybody. Oh. Okay. Time to get the water transferred and get them something to drink because they're probably a little stressed. And then I need to get a light in there for the night and that helps them because they're blind as a bat in the dark. That helps them get into their new space. Well, a couple of hot, sweaty hours later, they are all in the coop and they seem pretty happy. I'm excited to have a little bit more space for them. Even though the other coop had the proper amount of square footage, it's nice to have them out in this big area here. Now I have to pick a day where I can get one of these in here for a little bit more shelter during the daytime. There's some shade around the coop during the day and from this big willow tree up here during the middle of the day as well. So there is shade. So that'll give me a little time to get that over here. Now click right here, which is our entire playlist on how to raise chickens. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.